and I said, well, I gave my life to Jesus at that camp, and he was like, well, that's awesome. Let's get you a Bible. Let's get you plugged in and that kind of thing. And, um, and that's, that's what we want for you guys. We don't want this decision to be um, something that's just kind of like a personal decision, um, you know, for a personal choice. But we want you guys to be able to have your faith and to be able to tell your, your friends about that faith. And so um, kind of the, the guiding scripture on that is found in Psalms 107, uh, verses 1 and 2. And it says... Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others he has redeemed you from your enemies. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say, um, give you an opportunity just to stand up and say your name and, uh, and the decision that you made. Maybe you grew closer to the Lord. Maybe uh, you didn't know the Lord coming into this camp, and, um, and you gave your life to Christ this week. So um, I'm going to... Uh, invite you guys to do that. So, Brad, why don't you pray for us, and then we'll, we'll have that time. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you that you have been at work even before we even got to this camp. Even before we arrived on day one, God, you began to work in our lives and in our hearts. And God, the purpose is not for us to glorify ourselves, to stand up and say, hey, look at me. Look how awesome I am. God, all of this is so that we can glorify you. Look how awesome God is. Look what he has done in my life. Look Look at this sinner that he has saved. God, you are so good. And we thank you for this time, Lord. I pray that just joy would rise up. I pray that just excitement and rejoicing would rise up in each and every one of us. That we would rise up loud right now, God, as we hear of the good things that you have done. As we one by one testify about the good that you have done, God, may we just rejoice with all of our heart and soul this afternoon. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys. So you've got an opportunity. If you want to stand with your huddle leader, huddle, huddle leader, you kind of know. If you have some students that want to stand up with you, kind of just kind of you know, seek them out. But this is it. We don't – look, if the microphone is a little weird and a little loud, we just set that down. We all kind of hear one another. Is that cool? Can I put this down? Let's do that. Right where you are, if you have made a decision to let Jesus be Lord of your life, and guys, get ready to go nuts. If you have made a decision to let Jesus be Lord of life, to follow the way, not your way, and God's got to hold your heart, and you made that choice today, I want you to stand on your feet. Right where you are. All right, baby. Woo! Come on! Christ in his heart last night. Let's give it. Yeah. 
What's your name? My name's Alexis, and I accepted Jesus today. I've had him in my life for a while, but I haven't understood really what it means to have Jesus in my life. And I'm going to ask you to pray for me. Can we give her a hand? Come on! says that heaven is rejoicing, the angels are rejoicing, right? Because a heart surrendered to Christ is the most beautiful thing in the universe, right? We just marvel at it. Yes, sir, your name. My name's Carson, and I gave Jesus my life. Come on! Woo! Yeah, man. Ben, do you have any in your group? You want to stand as boys and sit up? Guys, you ready? You want to stand together? You want to stand together? You want to rise up together? You unsure? All right. We'll stay with you. We'll stay with you. Come on, we'll stay with you. We'll stay with you. Come on. You guys want to stand up? You want to stand up? All right. Well, uh, earlier we uh, we had a huge breakthrough um, after after Brad spoke, and um, I think that that uh, definitely got through to my buddy Will here. So, um, but uh, we we kind of made the decision together, and he he definitely yeah. stepped through, and um, just an awesome kid. So. Amen, amen. Give it up for and I uh, gave my life to Jesus. <laughs> amen. I am his and he is mine. In the back. Guys, we want to give you an opportunity to this week. In the back. Oh, in the back. There he is. Come on. Yeah, Coop! Yeah. I love it. I'm not rushing you, I'm going to give you time. Look, I know it's big. It's big. For some of you, it's maybe the first time you're taking a stand for anything. You're taking a stand, you're saying, this is, this is, this is not holding my heart. This is, this is big. You're taking a stand. In a world that tells you to don't stand out, don't be good, this is huge. I want to give you that time. It's no small thing. It's no small thing. And I understand the courage and the boldness that God gives for that to take place. And it rises up in each of us. And if you're sitting there saying, well, I'm just not sure, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll know. There will be that moment when God's like, I want you to speak up for my name and you're just going to go for it. And you're going to rise up. You're going to rise up. That's important. Hey, um, if you had an opportunity, really just, you've walked with Christ and you've, you've placed your trust in Him and you came to power camp and God really led you here and, and He touched your heart in a way. Just, just, he invited you to go deeper with him in some way. Maybe there's some, uh, you know, something he's, he's kind of led you on or, or part of the study really stood out to you. And he led you to a decision, a decision to, to set something aside, maybe that didn't belong. Or it's a decision to, to pick something up, something that he's really calling you to. Or even a certain person saying, you know what, when I get home, I'm going to really minister to this person because that, that God put that person on my heart. I want to give you an opportunity. If God has empowered you to a work, he's called you to something that, that requires you to say, hey, I, yes, yes, Lord. I want you to say, I want you to share it with you right now. Something God's done in your life is just, he got a hold of your heart. This is your time. Share yeah, yeah, bro. My name is Josiah. Um, at this camp, um, I was Amen. Seeds taking root. Amen. Amen. Yes. So Coach Bailey Ladera has been my best friend since middle school. And ever since a couple summers ago, I've seen so much joy and pride in her heart coming back from camp. And I wanted to be a part of that. And when she called me, I wanted to come here and be a part of that. Well, I basically treated it like it was like a therapy session. So I was like, all right, well, I want you to name all the things that don't really make you happy. 
and then I want you to be able to say it to me. So she named all the things, and I was just like, okay, well, um, before I really get deep into this, I was like, are you, oh, you asked her if she was religious, and she was like, well, yeah, but I kind of like stepped away a little bit, you know, um, I didn't really know, she was kind of unsure with things. So uh, really I was inspired by you with the way that you were really teaching the kids and stuff. So I really uh, dug deep with her. I really gave her like a lot of the um, Bible verses that we all left, uh, that we all learned here. And I really spoke out with her and she gave her life in that program. Amen. Oh. <laughs> We're really, what I just, I, I want, I don't want to gloss over this. I want you to hear, she shared God's word. Right? The word spoke. The Bible is still speaking. It's that voice that's speaking. So you share the word and faith faith comes from hearing the word, right? So yes. 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 Uh, this was my this week was my first time ever giving my testimony out loud. And um yeah. <laughs> yeah! Rising up tough that sometimes it's like, hey man, I gotta stand in front of people, I gotta say this word, it's gonna burn up my belly until I speak it. I, I, thank you, thank you for being faithful. And we all, we were all touched by what you shared. I mean, we, we spoke about it all week, so thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so I committed my life to God a while ago, but this week just totally pushed me over the edge because a girl in my hill came up to me and she, she just needed prayer and she needed me to pray for her and the fact that she felt so comfortable coming to me just showed that she truly trusted me and she truly trusted in God. Okay. And so I just took all the love that God was pouring into me and I poured it into her. And I just wanted to make sure that she felt so loved and that, you know, the power of prayer is so overwhelming and that it really helped her. And like, not only did I help her, but she, she really helped me. And it, like her, just her coming to me and being so open with me just completely changed my life. Amen. Amen. His strength, His power, His spirit, Ben. Well, uh, guys, we were uh, sharing this in our huddle earlier uh, today, but um, I know a lot of you guys think, you know, hey, we're the, we're the younger guys here, and, um, and that our huddle leaders are, are changing our lives, and these speakers are changing our lives, but I assure you, there is nothing else in the world that makes me want to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning <laughs> other than this. Honestly, <laughs> school, nothing. I do not want to get up as early as I do for this. But you guys, your smiles, your energy, the way you guys laugh, the way you guys sing, your worship in the morning, everything. I'm, and I'm probably speaking on most of the huddle leaders, if not all right here. But honestly, it is you guys that makes us want to get up in the morning and, and come here. And just your guys' relationship with God and your energy. And just like I said, everything, your smiles, everything, how happy you guys are in the morning. Everything. That makes us want to get up in the morning and, and come here and work with you guys. So if you guys think, we, that, if you guys think that we huddle leaders have changed your life this week, I assure you, you guys have changed ours. Like, you cannot believe. Mm -hmm. So I just want to thank you guys yes. and just give that up. Yeah. Can we have all of our huddle leaders to go to Hey, there's, a, there's another group of people that uh, that have been serving behind the scenes that I want to want you guys to give it up for, and it's, um, there's uh, some coaches, there's some folks that have been setting up your waters and your tents and serving meals and taking trash out, and, uh, and it's these guys back here, so let's give it up for these guys. Woo! So you guys, these, these huddle leaders and these, these folks back here, um, you know, they don't, they don't get paid to do what they do. You know, I, it was a calling that the Lord had on their lives that uh, me or one of my friends said, hey, we've got this power camp coming up and we have the opportunity to, to hang out with a bunch of awesome kids and teach them a sport and teach them a little bit about God. Would you like to be involved in that? And, uh, and I mean, there's, there's close, to, close to 50 people who are just here to set this camp up for you guys. So uh, that's just, you know, a small uh, idea of, of how important you guys are. That these people are willing to invest their lives and their week uh, into making sure that you guys have an awesome week of power camp. So um, there's a, if you 